Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome back to another episode of checking out your guys' solar systems. So yeah, today we'll be checking out two systems I believe. Um, so yeah, well before we get into that, just also, I want to say obviously thanks to everyone who subscribed, left a like and stuff because we're so 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 close to 2,600 subscribers now. So let's see if we can hit that before Friday, Thursday or Friday because that would be awesome. But yeah, before we begin, just um, like I said in the previous video for anyone who didn't see it, with the comments... Um, with all of the comments I'm getting with all your guys' systems, there is so, so, so many right now. So, one thing I do ask is please only post your solar systems on these videos. Don't post them on any other videos. Please only post them on these videos because these are the what these are the videos. Um, these videos, these are the comments I read when I'm trying to get or when I'm getting a new solar system to do for an episode. If you post your solar system on a not or on a video that isn't one of this series, then I probably won't do it because. I'm just getting flooded with ideas on these videos, and this is the main place where I request that you post your um, idea, your solar systems. So yeah, please, if you want your systems to be um, checked out at some point, please only post them on these videos. And also, please try and only post one or two at a time, because so many people are posting like five or six simulations I've seen. Like, you can please respect that I can't do all of them at once, because... There is so, so, so many, and um, actually, um, one thing, I'll, the guys I'm doing today as well, it has been, uh, you did send me them quite a while, it's just I've got so many simulations to go through that I've been sent in, it's very hard to um, do them as soon as you post them, so, yeah, just um, keep that in mind, it, if you post it, don't expect it to be the next episode, for instance, because I do have a lot of them to get through, so please respect that I cannot get it done straight away, but anyways, enough of all the negative stuff, let's get into this, so yeah, today we're taking out two systems from Cyrus Plays, so, yeah, sorry for the delay, but like I said, it... Um, oh god. Yeah, like I said, um, I can't get them all done as soon as you post and stuff, so yeah, it's, um, here is your, st or two of your simulations today, so, yeah, let's begin. So, the first simulation is called Gamma and Pulse, so this was actually one that I did have quite a while ago, but I had a problem with it, so yeah, you sent me a, um, a link to the U-Box file instead of, like, an RAR opener file, so yeah, we'll be checking out the Gamma and Pulse today, so let's see if we can find it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like the blue background, alright, so... Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is looking cool. Alright, so let's um, just get an overlook of the system here. Okay, so here is the system. Very nice. I do like the usage of all the different orbit shapes and stuff. So, right, let's go and have a look. So, let's begin. So, the main star, Gamma here, uh, looks a little smaller than the sun. So, let's get a quick comparison like we always do in these episodes. So, the sun. There's the sun. So, a little smaller than the sun. So, there is that. So, Gamma. How bright is the sky? Let's see here. 0.19 suns, so 19% the brightness of the sun there, so let's just get a quick look at the um, zone, so you can see the zone that, oh excuse me, yes, yeah, so they've got the zone here, alright, so let's begin with the first planet, so we've got gamma, now we've got gamma b, alright, let's just see the first object here, so very similar to earth in radius, a little bigger in mass as you can see there, oh and actually, I forgot to turn my um, graphics up from last episode, let's go ahead and do that now, so hi, there we go, there we go, look at that, that's looking way better already, so there is that, and let's quickly put this through that, and there we go, alright, real good. So, there it is, so Gamma B. So, okay, I'm liking the colour scheme with the blue atmosphere, that's quite cool. So yeah, here is that, um, let's check the material, so there's no water here, so this would be like a dry sort of desert sort of world with a blue atmosphere. Very, very hot here, 177 degrees, so similar to Mercury, but a lot bigger. So yeah, there it is, and there's this atmosphere in ATM, so 0 0.5 ATM, so it's about half the atmosphere of Earth. So yeah, there's Gamma B, so there's our first object of this simulation. Alright, so there's that. Alright, next up we've got Gamma C. So very similar to Gamma B with the colour scheme, except it's more, it's got a bit of blue on it as well. Hot, this is the hottest planet we've seen so far, so this is hotter than the previous one. Very similar to Earth in radius and, and mass as well. Um, 10 ATM, yeah, that's why it's the hottest, because the ATM is way higher here. Reflects a lot of light as well, so this is very similar to Venus, um, with the amount of light it reflects. So there is that. So yeah, it's Gamma C. Um, there's its um, composition there. 62% uh, Earth similarity, no life likelihood here. So yeah, there's Gamma C. Okay, let's see what we got next. So Gamma D, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's Gamma D. Oh, and I'm liking the colour scheme. Oh, I really do like that. So yeah, the, the brown with the um, white there. I, I That is a nice scheme. I, I like that. So let's see here. So it's a little colder here, minus 11 degrees. Very similar to Earth in radius again. Temperature here. Um, yeah, it's cold. There's its um, composition again to iron and silica. Um... 82.2 or yeah, 88 88.2 percent earth similarity life like hoods at zero obviously there's no atmosphere here so it's relatively cool if this had an atmosphere it probably would be warm enough so there's that and here we go so there is a gamma d okay i'm liking that all right let's see what we've got next 
So Gamma E is next. And it looks like this one has a moon, and it is Haspel as well. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Here is Gamma E. But what kind of atmosphere does this have? Oh, so this looks like it was originally an Earth, I, I'm assuming, by that atmosphere colour. So, okay, looking good. So there's its um, colour scheme there. Very nice. You've got, like, the sandy deserts in the low elevation, all the beaches. You've got the mid as the green. And then you've got um, some white as the high, which would be the mountains. So nice and snowy. So 10 degrees, that's the temperature I like to live in in the UK, so yeah, something like that. Um, radius is um, very similar to Earth as well. Um, doesn't reflect the most light in the world. Yeah, this was Earth, you can see it had a climate mode there. So there is that. Materials, obviously there's its materials. And then the 79.5 life likelihood chance, very nice, and 97.5 Earth similarity, so very, very similar to Earth, this guy, obviously, because it was based off Earth originally, so yeah, there's Gamma E, so very nice, liking the colours with that, so there is Gamma E, okay, so now we've got Gamma E B, so a very, very small object here, so yeah, is that, I think, I think this is Vesta, maybe, was this Vesta originally, it's definitely one of the, um, Vesta, one of the little dwarf minor objects this was, so yeah, there's Gamma E B, so there's its composition, and there's its um, very cold here, minus 10, so there's that. All right, next up we've got Gamma EC. Oh, and I'm liking the blue. Oh, I like the blue and the all. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I like that. So minus 8 degrees as well. How close, how far away is this? It's definitely a lot closer than our moon is to Earth. Yeah, it's, um, okay, so there's its um, distance. So let's check on lunar distance here. Yeah, so it's half, pretty much half the distance of what the moon is from Earth. So definitely a lot closer, so... There is that. So if anyone lived there, they'd probably get here quicker than we'd get to our moon. So, yeah, there's that. Um, materials. And um, Earth similarity is there as well. There's its materials. So, yeah, it's good. there is Gamma EC. So, very nice. So, you got this little mini system going on here. So, okay, let we've got next. So, now we've got Gamma F. So, let's go here. Oh, it looks like this was Titan originally. Oh, no, no, we've got no, Gamma F here. This one here. Right, this was definitely Mars. You can tell by the atmosphere straight away that was Mars. So, yeah, Gamma F. I, I do like the Mars atmosphere with clouds. It looks really cool. Yeah, I really like that. So, oh, I'm looking... Uh, looking. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm liking the... Um, liking the desert sort of look to this as well. So, you've got, like, deserty sort of colours here. There, that. I'm, it's, and this is mostly an ocean world as well. Yeah, I really like um, the Mars atmosphere with oceans. It looks really, really cool. So, 40 degrees. So, relatively hot here. So, this would definitely be a vacation spot or a holiday spot, um, however you want to call it. So... Yeah, the people at the previous planet, they probably want to come here just to chill out. It's a bit like the Maldives, actually, like with the amount of land here. Not really the most land in the world. This, this reminds me of the Maldives a bit. So it's got two masses of Earth as well, a little bigger in radius. There's its climate as well. It's got some greenhouse effect, 2.86 ATM. How far is this on the star as well? This is, um, let's see here, AU. So 0 0.7 AU, so a little closer than Earth is to the sun. And there's its composition there. 38.6 life likelihood there as well. Um, 89.5 Earth similarity. So there, yeah, there's the main island. So the capital city of this planet, if people lived here, probably be on that big island since it's the biggest place. Yeah, there we go. Really, I really do like Gamma F. That, uh, definitely a thumbs up for me. I, I do like that one. Okay, Gamma FB. Let's see what we've got here. So this was Titan originally. Very dark here as well. Wow. Why is it so dark? That's pretty weird. Titan atmosphere there. Yeah, so there it is below. Yeah, so this was definitely Titan. So yeah, there is that. So, very, very cold here as well. Look at that, minus 14 degrees. Definitely, um, I definitely wouldn't want to live here since it's very cold. I'm not really a fan of the cold. So, yeah, minus 14 degrees. Um, let's check the radius. How many moons is this? So, is it 1.8 or 8, 5 moons? So, is this a little bigger than Ganymede, maybe? Or is Ganymede still bigger? But oh, no, it is a little bigger than Ganymede. So, there it is there. And then, compare it to Mars. Yeah, Mars, very, very similar to Mars. But Mars looks a little, little bigger there. So, very nice. Um, there's its... Um, thing there as well it's a composition Ooh, it's got life likelihood here so even though it's a little colder life as we know it could still live here so that's all good so very cool so if you want to quickly look at it um from below there you go so it's also going um it's going a uh, flashlight just get a full look of it so yeah there it is there so even though it's cold those oceans still look like water i don't think it's completely frozen it probably just very very cold water um at minus 14 not completely rock hard yet so yeah, there is Gamma FB, definitely like that. So, I think out of all the planets so far, th this little system here, these two, are definitely my favourite I've seen so far. I really like Gamma F, the water with the Mars atmosphere, so there's that. Okay, next up we've got Gamma G. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, we've got a gas giant, first gas giant with rings as well. Okay, very nice. So, we've got Gamma G here. Little smaller than Jupiter in radius, but a little more in mass. So, there's Jupiter there. 
So there we go. Yeah, Jupiter's 69,000. Yeah, uh, this is um, 60,000. So yeah, Jupiter's a little bigger. It's also got 1.5 Jupiters as well. There's its composition, so it's a mixture of everything there. Um, there we go. Reflects a lot of light, as you can see. It's also got a nice little ring system around it. So there we go. All right, next up we've got Gamma GB. Okay, so very dark here as well. Oh, is this because, wait, are we behind the planet right now? See, where is the star? Oh, yeah, we're getting... Yeah, this star isn't the brightest in the world. See, it's starting to get a little dark out in this area of the system. So let's just go on studio just so we can get a good look of it. Actually, no, we'll just use a flashlight, actually. So, yeah, there is it here. So very, very cold. A massive difference in temperature between this and the previous planet's um, temperatures. So minus 155 reflects um, a relatively lot of... Um, or light there, sorry. Um, hey, it's got a little life likelihood. 0 0.000016 or 116. 43 Earth similarity. So life could live here, maybe. But minus 155, not sure about that. So, yeah, there we go. Very similar to Earth in um, stats again with radius and mass. So there is Gamma GB. And next up we've got Gamma CG. Or G GC, sorry. Going with more of a yellow sort of, like a nice light yellow sort of. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Very, very small this one though. So, yeah, little, little, very, very small. So, nice little object there. Uh, materials. Yeah, there's its. Um, so, so, this one's a little warmer than the previous two we've seen. Okay, next up we've got Gamma G or GD. Very cold here as well. Minus 198. Wait, is this the coldest so far? Uh, 198. That's 155. And that was. Right, and this was minus. Oh, 207. Two, so, that's the coldest object we've seen so far. Yes, this is the coldest moon around the um, planet here. So, there is GD. There we go. So yeah, no no life likelihood here. There's it's some temperature it reflects a lot of light as well, and yeah, there you go. So there's gamma G or GD. God, the letters. Oh god. All right. So um, GD. All right. Zoom out. Okay. What we got next? So next up we've got. Oh, okay. Very strange orbit. The next one. So this is the next one. So gamma J. So going from all of a, it's got a bit of a blue look. It'll be completely dark here. I'm guessing. Oh no, no, it's still a little bit of light. As you can see, it's very very dark here though. So, yeah, minus 223, so this is the coldest object right now. So it's got a frozen ice ocean, as you can see here. So I'm guessing once this gets closer to the start, it will warm up. So since it's at a very far point right now, what if we um, moved it a little closer to the star? So what if we do this? So that's its closest point to the star right there. Let's reset it to zero degrees, and let's see how hot it or cold it gets. Okay, so it won't um, definitely won't stay um, at zero degrees. Yeah, it's going to get cold again. But yeah, that's so... There's its closest point. It reflects a lot of light as well. Um, no Earth like or no life like could. Um, about half um, Earth similarity there. It's going down as it gets colder though. Look at that. That number's going down as the planet gets colder. So that's really interesting. Um, basic. Um, you can see it's 12 AU away right now. Well, that, I think that's its average actually. Um, yeah, it's getting colder. Very small as well. So yeah, there's Gamma J. It's got very very little mass as well. All right. So there is J. Okay. Next up we've got I. Or uh, I. Oh, this is a series here. Got a little series. So we've got Gamma I. Oh, going with like a yellow brown sort of colored atmosphere. Okay, cool. So let's go to realistic mode. So very, very dark here as well. You can see its picture there. It's more of a yellowy brown color atmosphere. Quite small here as well. Um, yeah, there's its um, Earth similarity is 30%. So it's getting less and less like Earth as we go further into the system. Got a little atmosphere on it as well. Nothing too extreme. You can see there. Um, Okay, and here's its moon here. So this was Ceres originally, as you can see by the texture. So very cold here as well. This um, doesn't reflect any light at all, even though it doesn't receive much light. Composition is 100% silicate. Earth serenity is only 9.5%, so very, very low here. So there's the Gamma I system. All right, and then next up we've got K. So let's see here. So Gamma K, so another gas giant, this is the last object, minus 221 degrees as well, so very cold. And then it's got um, one moon called Ertus T around it, so around Gamma K. So yeah, there's that. And this is a little smaller than Saturn, but bigger than Uranus as well. So there's materials, mostly um, hydrogen here, 9% um, Earth similarity. And there's this little moon as well, which looks like it's one of the coldest objects here. Yeah, it's um, a little bigger than our moon, I think. So I'm have a look here. Moon, moon, moon. There's our moon. It's a little bigger than the moon. Definitely not as large as Ganymede, as you can see there. So, yeah, there we go. So that is the whole of the Gamma and Pulse system, I believe. So let's just zoom out just in case I missed anything extremely far away. And, yeah, that looks like it. So, yeah, there's the Gamma and Pulse system. So, yeah, let us know what you think of that in the comments. I'm pretty sure um, Cyrus Plays is interested to see what you think of his system. So, 
yeah there you go so there's the first system and before we finish up let's give it one of those new supernovas <laughs> yeah there we go so kaboom all right so there we go anyways next up we've got one more simulation from him today in this video since there's just so many simulations i can't get them all done in one video so we've got one called the arc system next still my voice is starting to go <coughs> excuse me so the arc system so now we've got this one i'm liking the little thumbnail there all right so let's see what we got here Oh, and we're already at one planet, so let's um, zoom out of that, and we'll check him out um, after. So that was probably the planet the thumbnail was on. So we've got a double system going on here, all right, nice. All right, so let's get a whole look at the system here. Let's turn that on as well. Oh, okay, so we've got a very unstable orbit going on there. So, yeah, that's the whole system it looks like. So let's go uh, labels. All right, so let's see um, here. So let's um, turn all this off. So the main star is Arc A. So a little smaller than the sun again. Um, its luminosity is 0.1. Um, there and then this we've got arc B so luminosity at this guy 0 0.01 and it's definitely a, a lot smaller as you can see there so there is that and then for this we've got the sun for second part or the sun for comparison so there's the sun there and yeah there we go so let's begin with the first object so yeah they're in a nice binary orbit there as you can see so orbits oh my god there's so many okay so we'll just go on trails so the first object from the star right now is arc B okay so here we go Yes, yeah, so we've got um, arc A and arc B. And then we've got arc B at the lowercase b. So this one is definitely like Mercury, but definitely larger in size, as you can see here. Um, it's 276 degrees. And then the colour is actually quite interesting as well. Like a bronze, looks like a bronze sort of colour. Let's just hide that quickly. So it's like a bronze and brown sort of colour. I definitely like the light sort of orange here. Or a light brown, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely a nice sort of bronze sort of looking colour. I definitely like that. So yeah, there is that. So there we go, and yeah, there's its composition there, um, no life likelihood here, so yeah, there's the first object. Okay, next up we've got, I don't know why the label's not showing, that's pretty weird. Yeah, so next up we've got Arc C, so also a, another sort of warm planet here, very, a little smaller than the previous one, 80 degrees. It reflects quite a lot of light, um, let's see here, um, 84 um, Earth similarity, and there's its um, stats there, so there's Arc C. Okay, so let's see what we got next. So next up is um, Arc D, all going for a red sort of world. All right, cool. We've got a moon here as well. So red or sort of orange color. Reminds me a bit of Sedna. 71 degrees here. Definitely like a scorched sort of earth looking object here. Um, 76.9 earth similarity there. Temperature, yes, it's very hot. Doesn't reflect a lot of light. So there's that. Uh, next up, we've got the little moon. So Arc D, B. So looking good. So liking the brown with the white. I do like the brown with the white color combo. So 22 degrees. Um, reflects 50% light. There's no water sadly. So that definitely lowers the life likelihood completely. So there's that. But it has got city lights on it. Look at that. There you go. So city lights. How are these people living here? It says no, uh, or no, no life likelihood. This must be like a colonized base or something here. So city lights. Very nice. Definitely a fan of that. That is cool. So yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got next. So next up is this object here. So Arc E. So we've got Arc E here. And it's got two moons. So this was the object we begun with. Well, it just looks like it's got three moons there. So oh, it's a spacecraft. There you go. It's a little spacecraft. Yes, yeah, so we've got Arc E. So little larger than Earth in radius. Um, very similar temperature to Earth. So this will be our Earth-like object for the system here. So it's got 32.7 life -like hoods. So yeah, people could live here. So there is that. So there's a little spacecraft here. So the Arc E Relay Fidget. Oh, another fidget spinner. <laughs> it's a fidget spinner again. Fidget or oh, fidget spiner, it says. Um, Mark 1. Yeah, so this isn't the first simulation that you guys have sent in with a fidget spinner. So a lot of people must not take Juno very seriously and just call it a fidget spinner. So there's, there's a fidget spinner. <laughs> there's one of those stupid things. So we've got a radius here. Uh, um, 12 meters. So not the longest thing. All right, next up we've got Arc EB, so 800 um, radius, so nothing too big as well. B nice simple black, white, and grey sort of look to it. Um, there's its um, stats, uh, and then no life like you, and 53 Earth similarity there. Next up we've got Arc EC, so this looks like a frozen ice world, like Europa. So 67 Earth similarity, temperature minus 6 degrees, so just under that correct temperature there. Um... So yeah, there's that, and yeah, very similar to Europa, it looks like, so let's look at comparison, so there's Europa, it's a little bigger, bigger than Ganymede almost as well, so, yeah, there is that, so Arc EC, so very nice, alright, let's see what we got next, so next up is this object here, so Arc F, so another Earth-like world, 
So there is that. Very similar to the one from the previous simulation with like the green, white, and sort of yellowy sand looking colour. So that's looking nice. More of like, it looks like a tropical sort of world there. So there's its stats there. So um, nice. Uh, Earth similarity 46. So this would be the most common place of life in the whole system here. So we've got another Arc F Explorer one. So this is a Voyager Pro, as you can see there. So very cool. How does this have Earth similarity? It's not even a planet or a moon. What the heck? So yeah, there is that. All right, then we've got a moon, so Arc FB. So we've got minus 51 degrees. So another Europa Enceladus sort of world here. So yeah, there is that. Okay, um, what's next? Um, is, that it? is that it for this um, little system here? Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so there is that. All right, so what we got next? Okay, so next up we've got Arc H. So this is the first gas giant here. So there is that. It's got two moons as well. So there's a gas giant. Very large, 300 Earths, but... Um, Got a much large radius there, so yeah, not the most mass in the world, as you can see, 0 0.9 Jupiters, but the radius, yeah, this is quite big, so here is it is compared to Jupiter there, and then to the largest exoplanet, this definitely isn't as large as that, but we'll compare it anyway, so there's the largest exoplanet, so yeah, relatively large gas giant though, then it's got Arc HB here, so yeah, another Europa sort of one world here, so there is that, and then we've got a Earth-like sort of ocean world here, so there's that. So like this is like a, Euro, a, Euro, a melted Europa. So it's all ocean, this guy. So 22 degrees, so a very nice ocean spot. So this is probably quite a good um, holiday vacation spot here as well. Any land, though? Is it, or is it all ocean? Yep, that's definitely all ocean, all right. Yep. So that is all that. So 1% of it is ocean. So there's a lot of ocean here. So yeah, there we go. All right, so that is the Arc H system done. Okay, so let's see what we've got next. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Oh, we got more. So we've done that one. Trails. I can't really see. I can't really see. Um, let's see here. Uh, orbits. Oh my god, look at this. This is very unstable, this one looks like. So, okay, we'll just have to try and find any more. So, have we done this one? Are we, oh, Arc G. Well, I don't think we've seen this one. Okay. Wait, have we seen this? No, we haven't seen this one yet. It's very similar to the gas giant from the previous simulation, though, actually. So, yeah, there is that. And there's its moons. So... Arc GB here. So, oh, I'm liking the blue and white on oh, the red as well. Okay, very interesting. So, blue, white, and red there. So, that's cool. Uh, materials, there it is there. Um, temperature, so it's cold here. How far away from the, from the star? So, the star is... Oh, wow, okay. So, 44 AU away, it looks like. Okay, so the star is relatively far. Okay, so, yeah, the star, the star is very far away. Um, Arc CG, so we've got another... Oh, I'm liking the red and white here as well. That's quite nice. Yeah, there, that's looking cool. So, very cold here as well. Next object is all oh, oh, um, warm enough. Okay, oh, red land as well. Probably another vacation spot in this um, system here. So, there is that. So, 6 degrees temperature. Let's check the life likelihood here. So, 44 life likelihood, not bad. 94, or 95.2 Earth similarity. Very high Earth similarity on this one. So, yeah, there is that. Very cool. Alright, so, um, studio mode. Okay, so... Um, oh, and then we've got another Explorer probe as well, so Arc G Explorer. So this is the Cassini probe, I think. So, yeah, there's that. And why is this guy have Earth similarity as well? What the heck? Yeah, so, yeah, there we go. So I think that's everything for this system. So it's quite hard to see since the orbits are all really weird. So play, like, you can't really... I can't really spot them all. But, and the labels are not working. So we visited this guy. Yeah, we definitely visited this one. Actually, let's just get a lineup just so we can see everything. And actually, we didn't get to do a lineup of the previous simulation, so we'll get a lineup of those. So there's the two stars. We've got our two gas giants. And we've got all of the um, Earth sort of sized objects here. So let's get a nice lineup there. This one, I do like this one. That's probably my favorite one out of the all of the objects as well in the system. Yeah, that one. And then these two here. These two are very nice. Yeah, they're my top three, I think. So yeah, this would be fourth place, I think. So. Very cool. So yeah, there is the whole of the ARC system. So yeah, let us know what you think of that in the comments as well. And then yeah, let's quickly go back to the Gamma and Pulse simulation. So let's just get a line up all those objects as well. But yeah, um, let us know which simulation you think is better in the comments down below. So I'm pretty sure um, Cyrus Plays will be interested to um, see what you think. And obviously leave a link to his stuff all down below as well. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that is my favourite in this whole simulation. I really like the Mars atmosphere of the ocean. Yeah, so let us know which simulation do you guys think is better. Yeah, so there we are. So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this episode. And make sure you did hit that like button. Subscribe for more. 
And yeah, helps on the journey to 2,600 subscribers. Because, yeah, that'd be awesome. And also, please, only pay or only send me links to your solar systems on these videos. Otherwise, I probably will not be able to get around to doing it. So, yeah, please only do that. So, and one last thing, though. We'll go back to the arc system. Let's blow it up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, make sure you, um, yeah, if you haven't, like, liked the video, subscribe, like I said. And, yeah, we're going to nuke this guy. So, let's blow up both stars. So, boom and then boom. There we go. Both stars are gone. In two different novas and goodbye um the arc system <laughs> hey goodbye <laughs> yeah so yeah make sure you guys all have a great day we'll speed this all up and yeah that's all the um objects pretty much gone now so yeah they're all vaporizing so yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>